Hi there, here is Matt. What does actually empowerment mean? Here's what I found. According to Google, empowerment is a process of becoming stronger and more confident, especially in controlling one's life and claiming one's rights. Empowerment lies in the heart of our journey and learning to express ourselves through our voice, our bodies, feelings, emotions, and our sexuality. When we become empowered, we become sovereign beings where no one has power or authority over us, where our voice and desire matters. My intention is that every human being has the strength and confidence to speak and live their truth, to feel more alive in their body, to feel joy, pleasure and connection. When we step into our power and sovereignty, we begin to treat ourselves, others and the earth we live and love with respect and dignity. This is the world that I choose to live in. Empowerment is a process of becoming stronger and more confident. You might be asking yourself, where do I start and what is the process? Empowerment is about making choices and knowing that you have choices. It's about knowing that you get to choose what feels best for you. First, noticing what is it that you really want. Maybe no one has ever asked you or you have never asked yourself seriously. Maybe you are always moving so fast through life that you never slow down enough to feel what it really is that you want. So I invite you to slow down right now and notice what you really want. Take a deep breath with a sigh. Quiet that chatterbox mind and let your body speak to you right here, right now. And if nothing comes up, take a little bit more time. Take all the time you need because it is there. Second, trusting and valuing what it is in you. Did something arise? Maybe a longing or desire? Did you push it down? Did you judge it to be wrong or bad? The truth is what you want matters. And it doesn't matter what it is. It matters that you trust yourself because it is there and that you value it as important to you. We often shut down our desire before they see the sunshine because we judge them. Maybe it's too embarrassing, maybe you feel shame, maybe you feel you are too much, too needy or too whatsoever. Maybe you need to hear it again. What you want matters. And the more you trust that, the more it will move through you. Third, communicating what you want. How often have you seen yourself chewing on something you want? Too scary to speak it out? How often have you minimized your desire, cutting them down in a size you think someone else can deliver? How often does your fear or reaction keep you from speaking your impulses? And how often have you known how to express what you want? You might think that happens all the time. Yeah, be sure, but you're not alone in that. It is inherently vulnerable to ask for what we want. And it is freeing to take the leap to raise your voice and make a request. I recommend starting small. Ask for something that doesn't feel too vulnerable. It's like a little muscle. It takes time, practice and patience. Try to ask others about 10 times a day, may I or can you? Fourth, receiving it. If you had the courage to ask and you received a yes, feel for a moment and let this gift sink in. Now that you are worthy of receiving. And when the response is a no, you are still in connection with what you want. You might even celebrate the limits of the other because sometimes owing and expressing your desire in itself is the gift. Fifth, expressing gratitude. Gratitude is a feeling, the joy of being grateful. Being grateful feels vulnerable. To really let this gift sink in, take a breath and acknowledge that it is for you. 
It helps to feel and express the joy of gratitude. Say thank you for this gift. It's a reminder that this really is for you. The more you allow yourself to receive and acknowledge the gift that comes towards you, you will expand your capacity to receive. So what might at first feel scary and uncomfortable will begin to feel delicious and deeply nourishing. As you expand your capacity to receive, you learn to fill yourself up. You become strong and confident. Not only do your desire have value, but you have value. From this place of fullness, then you become capable of giving from a place of generosity to yourself, to your loved ones and to the world you live in. Coaching and supporting others through this transformative process is deeply satisfying. You too can change your neurological wiring to fully receive and to empower others. This will open up a door to self-discovery, personal and spiritual development and a life infused with joy. This is what I call empowerment. If this resonates with you, please feel welcome to reach out for the next offered practitioner training for professionals at www.somaticconsent.com to become a Somatic Consent Empowerment Coach. Thank you for watching and I hope I see you there. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.